We're going to go into the kitchen right now. This is the kitchen of the Thornhill Mansion at Faust Park, the home of Governor Bates. Um, and we're going to start making a meal for today. We're going to make several things, starting with butter. And we're going to start with butter because it will go into some of the other dishes, so we need that first. Governor Bates owned cows, and you milk cows in the morning and in the evening, or they sicken and die. But that means that you have a lot of milk, and you can't possibly drink all that milk, so you make other things out of it. There is cheese, yogurt, ice cream, if it's been invented yet, and butter is one of our favorites, and we're going to make butter today in the 1820s style. In order to do that, you need milk. Okay. So you milk your cow, and you have a bucket of milk. You let that sit for a while in a nice cool place, and the lighter material that's inside that milk will rise to the surface, and you skim it off, and that's called cream, and it's delicious. Use it in your coffee, your baking, lots of things. But we're going to make butter out of it today. In order to do that, it's very simple. This is called a churn. This is the churn. This is the dasher. Sometimes this is known as a broomstick churn because it looks like a broomstick. This is what the rest of it looks like. That's the cream. Okay. And it's quite a simple process. All you do is you lift and you let it go. You can push a little bit if you like, if you're very easy with it, because if you push real hard, you can push through the bottom of the churn, and these are rather hard to come by. So gently up and down. Now what you're doing is changing that cream into butter. Okay, now. You go to a party, and they have balloons, and they're filled with helium. Okay, you know, helium balloons. If you pop one of those balloons, helium comes out. What you put in comes out. You go to another birthday party. They have balloons filled up the old-fashioned way, like that. You pop that, air comes out. Air goes in, air comes out. Well, these little balloons in here are filled with fat. So instead of popping them, we're going to sort of mash them. And what will come out is the butter fat. And at first, you hear it, it sounds rather sloppy. Okay. But as you continue to do this, it will change texture, it'll get thicker, and it will sound different. Pretty soon, it'll sound like mud. And what you've done is, you have smashed all those little balloons wide open, and the butter fat came out, and now it gloms together, and you've got glom together fat. But that doesn't sound very good, so we change the name to butter. Okay? Now this takes a little while, and it has to be done every day. So if you come to visit me and I am churning butter, you must help me. Otherwise, you have bad luck. You don't know where or when or why. So what are you going to do? You're going to help me churn if you come to visit. Now, once the butter is made, you have to get it out with a, a spoon. You get it out. You wash it off with water. And there'll still be some liquid in here, and that's called buttermilk. That is not thrown away. We use it in baking. We drink it. We feed it to our animals if we have that much. Okay? But it is not wasted. The butter can be put in the ice house to harden up. But before you do that, you could also take your butter and you could put it in a mold, okay? And then when dinner time comes around, you take this out of the ice house, turn it over, smack it, and you would have a pretty loaf with a cow on it, like that. If you're having special guests, you can make individual molds for each one of your guests, but that's much more time consuming, okay? So we're gonna churn butter for a little while, it's already getting a little bit thicker, and it's making a mess. You can tell that it's hard because it's real sticky. When you're finished, you would take a spoon, and you would get it out, you would wash it, and then put it in whatever container you need it. And this is what it would look like when it's finished. Miss Lori, thank you very much. Butter. Okay. See that? And it, is, it will not taste like what's in the store. It is unsalted, it is fresh butter, and you will love it.